On your way to Piazza del Duomo, you will pass through Piazza Santa Maria Novella. Enjoy the beautiful square and the impressive Santa Maria Novella Church. Continue towards Via di Ciretani, leave Piazza Santa Maria Novella and proceed straight ahead on the main street called Via di Ciretani. You will see several shops, cafes, and historic buildings along the way. Arrive at Piazza del Duomo, after walking for about 10-15 minutes on Via di Ciretani, you will reach Piazza del Duomo. The baptistry is situated in this square, which is also home to the Florence Cathedral Duomo and Giotto's Bell Tower. Explore the baptistry. Once you arrive at the baptistry, you can admire its stunning architecture. The baptistry is renowned for its bronze doors, including the famous Gates of Paradise by Lorenzo Ghiberti. You can also visit the interior to see its beautiful mosaic decorations. Baptistry of Florence, also known as the Baptistry of St. John Battistero di San Giovanni, is one of the oldest buildings in the city and a significant landmark in Florence, Italy. Located in the Piazza del Duomo, right in front of the Florence Cathedral Duomo, the Baptistry began in the 11th century, and it underwent several expansions and renovations over the centuries. The original structure was a Romanesque building, with the distinctive octagonal shape that is characteristic of many baptisteries in Italy. The the exterior of the baptistry is adorned with beautiful white and green marble panels, creating an impressive visual effect. At the top of the baptistry, there is a small lantern or cupola with a conical roof. The lantern provides additional light to the interior and serves as a distinctive feature of the building's silhouette. Statues and decorative elements Various statues and decorative elements adorn the exterior of the baptistry. These include statues of prophets, saints, and other religious figures placed in niches around the building. These sculptures contribute to the overall grandeur and religious symbolism of the structure. One of the most notable features of the baptistry is its three sets of bronze doors, each considered a masterpiece of Italian art. The most famous set of doors is the East Door, known as the Gates of Paradise Porta del Perdiso, which was created by the sculptor Lorenzo Ghiberti in the 15th century. These doors depict scenes from the Old Testament and are considered a significant milestone in the development of Renaissance art. The interior of the baptistry is adorned with stunning mosaics that cover the dome and the upper parts of the walls. These mosaics are considered one of the finest examples of medieval religious art in Italy. The mosaic work spans several centuries and reflects different artistic styles. Dome Mosaic The dome of the baptistry features a large mosaic depicting the Last Judgment. Created by Capo di Marco Valdo in the 13th century, it portrays Christ surrounded by angels, apostles, and saints, with scenes of paradise and damnation. Life of Christ The mosaics on the upper sections of the walls depict various scenes from the life of Christ, including the Annunciation, Nativity, Crucifixion, Resurrection, and Ascension. These mosaics were created by different artists over several centuries. The octagonal baptismal font in the center of the baptistry is a significant element of the interior. It is made of white Carrara marble and features exquisite bas-reliefs and statues. The font was designed by Andrea Pisano, who also created the first set of bronze doors for the baptistry.
St. John the Baptist and St. John the Evangelist, alongside the scenes from the life of Christ, the mosaics also illustrate the stories of St. John the Baptist and St. John the Evangelist, to whom the baptistry is dedicated. These mosaics portray significant moments from their lives and feature detailed figures and intricate backgrounds. altar and apse at the eastern end of the baptistry you'll find the altar and the semi-circular apse the apse is adorned with mosaics depicting the coronation of the virgin mary surrounded by angels and saints the altar area also features ornate decorations and religious artwork oculus above the altar there is an oculus a circular opening in the dome that allows natural light to enter the interior the oculus creates a dramatic effect as sunlight filters through and illuminates the space, enhancing the beauty of the mosaics and the overall ambience.